I survived my first gay cruise. Was that too YouTuber-y? Anyways, I survived my first gay cruise, woo! The cruise line that I went on was called Atlantis. 3,000 gay guys trapped on a boat in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. What could go wrong? But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try and do something new this year and we're gonna go on a gay cruise and we're gonna spend money and do things and get out of our comfort zone and try and kiss a boy or something. And guess what? I did all of those, except the last one. I told a lot of people that I was going on a gay cruise and a lot of the feedback was, isn't it just a party boat? Doesn't everyone just do drugs? Doesn't everyone just like hook up on everything? And the answer is yes. If you haven't been on a gay cruise, gay cruises are exactly like straight cruises, except that gay cruises are, um, Fun! It's really interesting to see all the gay guys line up getting onto the cruise because it's like the gay Noah's Ark. All of the gay guys enter in pairs and it's like otters, pups, bears, oh my! The places we went to were Mazatlan, Cabo San Lucas, and Puerto Vallarta. And guess what? I totally understand why the gays go to PV now. If you're thinking about going on a gay cruise, the one thing that I learned, not everyone looks like a Sean Cody porn star go-go boy. Everyone else looks like a normal homosexual. And then there's the three straight women. Bless their souls. I met some really cool people from the UK, Atlanta, Florida, New York, the Bay, Canada. Love Canada. Honestly, gay cruises do you a little bit older. So if you're into older men, gay cruises are the place to be. If you don't like to think about what to do, try a gay cruise. There's food. I'm a Taurus. I love to eat and sleep. Eat, sleep, and poop. Just those three things, just in a constant motion. There's entertainment. Kathy Griffin, Todrick Hall, drag queens, drag queen bingo. There's water slide, pools, drinking, dancing, the parties. Don't get me started on the parties. You know how the gays love themes. There was a theme every single night. It was really nice just being gay with other gay people and not having to overthink my gayness. <gasps> it's like going to gay camp. You just walk around and you're just like, what's up, Charlie? Also, leave it to the gays. If there's no cell phone service, how do we communicate? By putting pictures of yourself on your cabin doors. It was like live grinder. On a gay cruise, it's like every community all at once. There were bears, there were pups, there were bear pups, there were otters. Every animal from the United Kingdom was there. United Kingdom? Now that I've been back, what I've learned is gay cruises are what you make of it. If you want to pay just one upfront fee and have everything taken care of, try a gay cruise. I highly, highly recommend it. But just know it is seven full days of non-stop social interaction, which is why I got my own cabin. And did I bring anyone to my own cabin? Oh, okay, gay cruises. That's all I got. Thanks for watching, bye. Oh, hi. If you enjoyed this video, you should like and subscribe for more. Mm.